Look at that, a lovely deer. Wildlife when you're fishing. I've just basically pulled down the lane it's just started to rain and we've got a beautiful deer there look he's just enjoying himself just moving into the oh he's having a little little bit of food now off he goes Having a walk across the field. Yeah, you can uh, hear the rain now. It's not too great. Yeah, he's just wandering off now. just arrived on the lake and it looks absolutely superb. There's a few anglers here but uh, you know I expected that because of the, uh, the lockdown but uh, fingers crossed we might have one or two tench this morning and uh, the bait is sweet corn I've got some pellets with me as well and uh, let's set up all the gear cast out and let's see if we can get one. But just have a look at the lake it's absolutely Superb, and there's no wind either. Oh, a little fish just jumped just in the margins there. Right, there's the first bag out. Rest it on there. Just push this down a bit. There we go. Tighten the line. Make sure the bag's gone down. That's lovely. Set. Okay, so we're just uh, waiting for the tench now. Well, it's a lovely morning. Baits are placed. Bag of pellets and the hook bait. Sweet calm. 
See if we can get one of them big tench out. I hope so. Yeah, I've been here an hour now. Nothing's happened. It's really starting to rain now. And I forgot my bloody brolly. Uh, but I have seen one fish top. I'm not sure what it was. It could have been a bream. Or it could have been a tench. It definitely wasn't a carp. Uh, but still waiting, still hopeful. Uh, there's quite a few people here today, and uh, we've got another two just set up next to me, uh, and they're baiting up. But um, no, nobody's had a fish yet. So whether they haven't woken up or they're on the naturals, but uh, I'm giving it four hours, and then we'll see what happens. And if uh, nothing happens, it'll be uh, home time and. Uh, Try tomorrow. Well, it really, truly is pants now. It's absolutely peeing down. No sign of any fish. Apart from that one in the side there, see that? I think that was a pike though. Two and a half hours into the session. Well, I've been here four hours now. And uh, not a sniff, nothing. But I don't feel bad because nobody else has had anything either. And there must be about another 11 anglers, 12 anglers on here now, and nobody's had a sniff. So I don't think the fish are feeding, they must be feeding on their naturals, blood worm, that kind of thing. Never mind, we'll try next time. It's nice to be out there. So, this is my second session and I can already hear the carp spawning but not, we're not here for the carp, we're here for, for the tench and it's a lovely morning. I've decided to move swims, move to the other end of the lake and uh, we'll try the PVA bags again with the sweet corn and uh, see if we can get a bite. It's warm, it's 17 degrees, and it looks quite nice. Trouble is the weed is a pain, it really is a pain on this lake, the weed. Uh, but with the PVA bags I'm hoping it sinks straight through to the bottom and uh, hopefully we'll get a tench. I don't care if I get one, I don't care how big it is, as long as I get one. Here's the lake. It's beautiful this morning. Yeah, so I'm going to put one just over there because we've got a, a lily bed there but I don't want to go too far because we've got a structure just in the middle just near the uh, uh, lily bed there and then I'm going to have one just slightly in the middle just over there and then we'll bait up and we'll see if we can get a, a tinker or two. Right, so the first one I just want it. That's perfect. Because there is a snag just over there and I don't want anything that I hook to go in that snag. I've just seen a fish over there as well. So it's looking good in this area. There we go, let's just wind down. Make sure everything's tight and level, that's lovely. Lovely, bit runner on. And let's get the other rod. Right, and this other rod, I'm just going to put just out in the middle. That's lovely. Let that sink down. And fingers crossed the tench might find that. I'm hoping so anyway. There we go. That's lovely, that's tight. 
that's on there. Oh, Lovely. Well, we've got a tension in the net. So what we come for is about four pounds. So let's get him out. And have a look in there he is, look. Lovely. So that was a nice start. A nice little tench, three pound twelve ounces. Yeah, that one's a, a male. You can see he's got big spoon-like fins at the bottom. It's a nice male, nice scrappy. This one's got a slight coloration underneath his chin, red. But uh, it's an infection, but that will, uh, that will clear up. So that's a nice fish to start off the session. Beautiful. Let's get this one back, rebait, and see if we can get another one. Yeah, you can see he's got a lot of uh, red marks on him there. That is an infection, but it's uh, it's not deadly to the tension. That will that will heal up. Look at them fins, aren't they big? Lovely little fella. There you are. You can see it's a male because it's got big spoon-like fins. The females are a bit smaller. Well, we've been here about two and a half hours now and I'm getting plenty of signs on the rod tips you just keep going buff, buff, buff you know, with fish going around and eating the pellet but I haven't had a really good bite yet um, like that first tench, that was just like a, a boom, boom and then I got a drop back so I hit it and I had it on but uh, there's quite a few fish moving around and uh, there's a lot of carp spawning in the reeds uh, some big ones as well uh, so yeah, so I'm just waiting for one of my rods to uh, just roar off and uh, hopefully we'll have another, another tension but uh, it's been hard so far it is a bit late, you know um, the weed is getting worse but uh, at least we're out, that's the main thing yeah, another nice tench, I think. Feel like it. Yeah. Another, another tinker. I don't know how big it is. Looks quite nice. Oh, another male. In he goes. Lovely. Two males this morning. He's in there nice now. Another scrappy male tench. Just under three pounds. This one's an old warrior, this one. I bet it's got a few stories to tell. It's been up to a few times. Bless it. But a very welcome fish and it's a nice perfect day today to be honest with you it's nice and dull and uh, I'm getting a few fish feeding on the uh, PVA bag system so let's get this one in and try and catch another one
well we're four hours in now and I keep getting indications on the rod tip like I said before it's like a bang bang um, now I think they're probably lion bites uh, I'm not sure if they're big bream or whether they're tench or what they are but uh, I'm getting plenty of them uh, which is keeping me interested obviously you know because if I haven't have had anything I'd have gone home by now but uh, there's a few fish in the area so I might as well uh, stay and uh, hopefully get another one it's turned a little bit windy now uh, it's still overcast which is very good for tench so that's another reason why I'm staying yeah so fingers crossed we'll have another one out yeah as you can see the uh, the wind is getting up but uh, the carp are spawning they're coming out in and out of those reeds and they're coming just round here real close in and some good fish as well some 20-30 pounders going round but uh, you won't catch them while they're uh, spawning but yeah it's uh, it's not too bad this morning really Another nice tench in the net. Well, they seem to be all male tench today. This one's three pounds thirteen ounces. There we are. Another beautiful scrappy male tench. PVA bag systems are working today on the sweet corn. They love the sweet corn. Beautiful. Chuffed with that. It's another one that's three this morning. Come here, Mr. Tenshi. All I want to do is release you. You can see it's got, still got a lot of power left. Is this tench? I just want to try and get him over the net. If we can. We should be able to. too bad a session three tench not the biggest in the world but like I say I don't need big fish to enjoy myself biggest one 313 put a nice bend in the rod nice hard fighting fish uh, the bigger ones didn't show but I've had a few fish so I've really enjoyed myself it's getting a bit too warm now so I've decided to call it a day so if you've liked this video uh, like and subscribe and hopefully we'll be getting out in a couple of days and see if we can uh, maybe hook a, a big bream or a big carp or something. See you later.